Hey, uh, Rob Orman. You are Rob Orman. I am Aaron Bright. We are in the Hippo Education Studios live and totally not remote and totally not wearing the same <laughs> shirt. I want you to know that even though we're talking about a November issue of EP Monthly and we're going to talk about from lecture hall to chest tube, it very recently was Halloween. Do you? But we're recording this pre-Halloween. Do you have a Halloween costume that you're going to wear? No, I used to dress up as a pirate every year. And now, now I'm just the dad who drops off the kids to go trick-or-treating. That's I, that. I had, uh, I bought this thing yesterday or yesterday, last year, that is basically a black jumpsuit with a, with a mask and then LED lights all around it in a stick figure pattern. And at night, you just look like a stick figure. It's, oh, it's pretty awesome. Pretty that's, awesome. that's what I'm going to be. That sounds awesome. Now, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about today, which is nothing at all. From lecture hall to chest tube. We're talking about an article here in uh, November EP Monthly. What did you get out of this little little piece? There's a lot of an internet. This is kind of a, the, an an international flavor that happens in EP Monthly. They were talking about some of the international uh, relief work going on with emergency medicine people. I have a lot of friends who go to other countries to do education. You know, to teach fracture reduction, yeah. or ultrasound, or or some skill. And what I got out of this, this is a, a group that went to the Caribbean to teach ultrasound, was that the clinicians that you're teaching, they don't need to te need you to teach them how to be clinicians because they've been working with very few resources and are pretty amazing right. at it. They yeah. need you to teach them that particular skill. And then as it gets applied, the learning curve is like logarithmic. And so they tell a story in this of a senior house officer who had learned lung ultrasound. He was a super interested in it during the clinic. And then 12 hours later was on a shift and there was a guy who got stabbed in the chest and he diagnosed a pneumothorax with the ultrasound, popped in the chest tube, the guy stabilized. Beautiful. Return on investment. Yeah. Tremendous. Tremendous. That's a 10Xer. Yeah. I, every time I read one of these, I feel like I should be volunteering more internationally and then I don't. So you can go ahead and call it some shame. It shames me a little bit. It shames me. <laughs> I'm going to take the stairs down this time, Rob, and I'll meet you here some other day, but not the same day. And we definitely won't be wearing the same shirts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>